David, what are voters saying about the job President Joe Biden has done as president? Jake, the country has soured on Joe Biden. There's just not another way to put it. According to our latest CNN poll conducted by SSRS, a national poll that uh, gives us this snapshot in time. Biden's approval rating is 39% in our poll, 61% disapprove of the job he's doing. Look at it by party. You see that even among his fellow Democrats, he's only at 77% approval in this poll. Only a third of independents approve of the job he's doing. And of course, as you might imagine, only 5% of Republicans. How are things going in the country today? Uh, badly, say nearly three quarters of respondents in this poll, 72%. Things are going badly in the country today. Only 28% say they're going well. Again, that astonishing number on whether or not Biden has the stamina and sharpness to serve effectively as president, only 25% of poll respondents say that he does have the stamina. 74% say no. And I know you're a history buff like I am. And so look here on this chart of where Biden's modern day predecessors were in their approval rating at this point in their presidency. And Jake, you see Biden is down there between Donald Trump and Jimmy Carter. You may know that is down in the category of one term presidents. He clearly wants to turn that around and he's got a year to do so, Jake. All right, David Chalian, thanks so much. Aaron Burnett, throwing to you in New York. All right, so let's talk through some of this. David Axelrod, let's start with where David Chalian just finished. <laughs> yeah. uh, the territory of one-term presidents. Yes. Um, going back to Jimmy Carter, um, I jotted this down. Jimmy Carter was at 32%. That's worse. Yes. Okay, yeah. but that's about as... Yeah, as and it can he get. lost. Look, the difference here is that he isn't running against Ronald Reagan. He's not running against some fresh face. He's running against Donald Trump, and that's what gives him hope. And I think Who also the that, only other person at that low level, close to that low. I level, mean, his numbers are, are 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 equally bad, though. On you know, in other polling and and in some here, there are comparatives, as we talked about earlier on this, you know, uh, foreign leadership question and so on that are that are discouraging. I would only say this, um, whether it's fair or not, and Joe Biden has a lot of accomplishments to his credit. He led the country through uh, the pandemic. And, uh, you know, while inflation is still the prism through which people are looking at the economy on jobs and some other measures, he's done quite well. Despite all that, those facts, he and maybe no incumbent president at this juncture is going to win a referendum on their own performance. He has to frame the choice and he has to frame it aggressively and he has to frame it right away because if nothing else, these are, uh, these are a flashing re uh, red light here. Uh, so David went through independence and I just wanna say overall, of course, right now, um, you, you've got independence, <coughs> uh, political independence, 45% Trump, 41 Biden. Um, and as David was just laying out, only a third of independents think that Joe Biden is doing a good job. You know, there, there are, you know, many who make the argument that independence is where you win and lose, that people end up going to their corners and independence is where a I race is lost. Independents are very affected by the uh, sort of distance to when the election is going to be. It's a well, year out. We don't know how close they're paying the attention and that, what they see, see in the Trump, for exactly. example. I mean, that's the calculation And, you know, making. one of the things I think I'm most compelled by is that and David and I talked about this earlier, Barack Obama grew his electorate, right? He broadened that coalition. But I don't ever remember anybody saying Joe Biden was added to the ticket because he really drew the youngs and the, <laughs> and the BIPOC. But he did do very well like, among the youngs. Maybe, I, I, but I, I don't by think the way, the it was place, Biden. By the way, the one place he's doing well, well in these polls is among voters over 65. Exactly. But by the way, so, I know what you're no, shaking I around. Think, I know. No, no. Are you no, about no, to do it I, again? I, I, I'm, I'm not going to go back. I'm not going to go back to my Chalian board. I'm just going to say that what, the, 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 thing, the one thing that the can't be fixed. Thing. The thing that can't be fixed is stamina. The, the, the other point I just want to put that number to point out: 71 to 61, right? The enthusiasm gap. David talked about it. that's 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 substantial. Well, that's what I'm well, talking about. I think that's there's huge. a return. Just, go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Audie. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Can, but can, I, can we just go to what is actually happening tonight, right? So we have voters voting tonight. We right. have, and we have a long way to go. There are a lot of votes still coming in, obviously, a lot of races yet to be called, uh, a lot going on. But so far, we are seeing uh, lower Republican turnout than was anticipated. We are seeing Democrats uh, turn out. We obviously see the numbers in Ohio, abortion clearly motivating voters. <coughs> so 
you know, there is a lot of opportunity here. Yes, is there work for Joe Biden to do on these numbers? Of course. I think he would say that if he were sitting here. But there is an enormous opportunity for him because these issues, uh, there's enormous space for him to grow. And so I think we should, rather than looking at a poll a year out, which, yes, does it have some, infor <laughs> does it have some informative information? Of course it does. All polls do. But no poll is definitive. But people are voting right now. I, 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 I've I been trying to make sense, and I, I apologize because we've just been torturing Kate tonight, but <laughs> I've been trying to make sense of this number that is a dream to Republicans, where voters ages 18 to 34, Trump is outperforming with them. Gen Z and millennials are the two biggest voting blocks going into this election. I That is not traditional that they would be siding more with the Republican candidate over the Democrat on issues, whether it's climate change, reproductive rights. They tend to skew liberal. Mm -hmm. I think it goes back to the magic issue of age. And despite the fact that Donald Trump and Joe Biden are only three years apart, perception the becomes vigor. reality in politics. Okay. So there are, of course, as we all know, in the political discourse in this country, Van, uh, Democrats who say that anyone who votes for Trump somehow is some sort of a closet racist, mm -hmm. or that, um, that, that no uh, Latino would vote for Trump because of the wall and his immigration policies. Mm -hmm. And yet in those two groups, mm -hmm. that is not what you see at all in this that, poll. That's because um, these groups are not monolithic. Part of what's going on here is that there's a college, non-college dynamic happening among people of color. Sometimes it look, looks like a, like a gender gap because you have more uh, black women with college degrees than black men. But there is a college, non-college dynamic here. Mm -hmm. And I think what you're beginning to see is the working class is beginning to slide mm -hmm. more yeah. and more that's toward the Republican yeah. Party. Yeah. And that's something that I don't think that Democrats are prepared for, have responded to well yet. Uh, sometimes Democrats seem like we're the party of people who eat a lot of kale. Right, that that's the most important <laughs> criteria. Wait, you don't? <laughs> and and want to <laughs> teach you how to eat. Kale. Exactly. So, 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 so there. But the, the good news kale? is this. But, but, here's, but here's, the good news is this. We're, we're a year out. The good news is, is that we are a year out. And the, I am glad that we're getting this news on this election night and not one in a year from now.